Hi, I'm Tree. This is Project Transparency, and it's been a while since we actually did the thing where we did the talking with each other, so I thought I would bring you into my studio today and talk to you why I prime that canvas. Seriously, take a look at that thing. That is 24 by 36 inches of canvas that I have to do something with. So, welcome to my anxiety. So what I'm using this canvas for is I'm in a pop culture show in January, and this is going to be a My Little Pony Friendship is Magic piece with all seven of the main characters, kind of with Art Nouveau figures on a color field that's kind of referencing manga, and yeah, it's kind of a thing. So I've already done one layer of gesso. Sorry, there's something on my brush, as happens when you're a mixed media artist. I already have one, one layer, kind of two layers of gesso on this thing, and it was primed before, but I just really wanted a good coverage. Now, the thing with the My Little Pony piece I'm doing is that I have the roughs all done for it, like you do. But I kind of made a change in what I was planning on doing. For those of you who don't know, I am a mixed media artist, a conceptual mixed media artist. So anything that sits still is fair game. So doing straight out and out paintings is a little peculiar for me. I can do the thing, it's just not always what I'm comfortable in doing. And I did Kashuk that way. I'll, you know, insert an image over here of the finished Kashuk painting. And it turned out really nice, I think. I think he looks adorable and floaty, and the light plays good on him, and the entire shebang. However, that helps because he is done in a Funko style, so he's a lot of curves, and a lot of not... Not a lot of definite characteristics. He's just a whole lot of violet lumps and cuteness. But the ponies, the ponies and Spike, they actually have some dimensionality, especially in the aesthetic I'm using to render them, which is very inspired by Art Nouveau. And manga. I have a lot of Sailor Moon influences, particularly like Sailor Moon Crystal in the original manga going into the My Little Pony pieces. So the question is, was, so the question was, how do I do that this large when I'm not entirely sure that I am that good of a painter? I mean, I'm a decent large-scale drawer, but a large-scale painter is something that's coming to me kind of slowly, mostly because buying canvas this large is not cheap, especially when you like it with a museum profile, which is like a two-inch off-the-wall face. So, so being the mixed-media artist that I am, I have a plan. A plan! What I'm going to do, after i finished gessoing this and it's dried completely, is put, is put the, is paint in the color fields for the ponies. Because they all have a color that goes with them, including Spike. And then I'm going to do large scale drawings, cut them out, and paste them on. And I think that'll be really interesting, it'll give kind of a, an old like comic book or manga feeling while still being dimensional and interesting and dynamic and all those buzzwords that artists like to use and I won't lose 
my mind. <laughs> and as Lane pointed out, that's much more my aesthetic, is that kind of layered dimensionality through media. And just so you have an idea, I'm going to put some images of the ponies here so you know what I'm talking about with their angularity and their Art Nouveau-ness and the entire bit. So that's one of the things I'm doing. I still have to order canvases for the Sailor Moon piece I'm doing, which is very minimalist. And actually, are like canvases of that. Little canvases with the little faces on them. I think it's really interesting and I like polyptics. Polyptics are always one of those things that I've really enjoyed. So why not, right? So that is the plan for this canvas. That may is always subject to change because that's the thing that happens. And I'm still doing my digital pieces. I actually have a series that I'm working on that's only in sketches right now, except for one really badly rendered digital painting called have a slightly distressed holiday. And so snowballs and lights and things that have gone out are being thrown and questioning why you do horrible things to them. Because I'm a buzzkill. Really, it's not that I'm a buzzkill, I just, I like abject and I like the idea of considering what our traditions do, do and mean to other people. Which is, particularly relevant when you live not too far from a reservation and it's November. Other things, um, I kind of did the community calendar with the January show that when I have an opening day I will let y'all know. I do have a show coming up in June July of next year at Glass which is our local coffee house so yay that we have a coffee house and yay that I'll, that I'll have stuff there. Um, part of the reason why I haven't been talking to you all so much, aside from things like Inktober and NaNoWriMo, which I am sorely, sorely behind on, and I should probably make another pep talk, I'm having trouble finding pep to have a pep talk, um, is that, is that we did a massive reorganization at the Rainbow Hub, and I'm still trying to sort it out. There's a lot of things going on that are making it not difficult, but very different than how it was before. And part of that is that I am editing people's articles and I am now doing twice as much social media during a day. And the amount of articles we put out in any given day is a lot more. And there's also, you know, calendar shenanigans that are making my life a little more difficult than I would like. But you know, Growing pains, there are lots of them. Also, since we have the holidays and holy days coming up in December, the Rainbow Hub is going to do kind of a couple of weeks of holiday themed articles. So if you have suggestions, you might want to leave them in the comments because we're looking for ideas right now. We're still far enough out where we're looking for ideas. Or if you would like to contribute to what we do at the Rainbow Hub, Send, some, send an idea to our submissions email. It exists on the site and you'll get a response from it. Also, we do need people who are Jewish or other denominations that we have the pagan covered who might want to write about their holiday traditions. So yeah, again, leave us something in the comments, send something to submissions. I think submissions might be better because then you'll get the boss. So yeah, this is why I am incredibly busy and haven't t talked to you guys in a while because y that thing is part of my life. All right, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna put another coat on the thing and start planning out the other parts of it and try and work on my nano, me and my woefully behind this. I 
don't have a good catch phrase. Oh, you guys should see me um, either this week or next week with Loot Crate and one, uh, one Up unboxing video. So that's exciting. And yeah, I, I probably am going to be doing a book two video here pretty soon on the Hunger Games because I finally read the trilogy just in time for Mockingjay part one. All right, now I really am going to go. Bye.